Hi, in this video we're gonna show you how to use Doubler's MIDI Capture Companion plugin to record melodies, beats and chords with your voice. Recording with this plugin creates an extremely intuitive workflow and there are so many different ways you'll be able to use it to get all of your ideas into your DAW. There are two ways you can record using Doubler. One is recording directly into a track in real time using Doubler 2. The other is using the MIDI Capture plugin, which has the advantage of applying a cleaning algorithm to your recording and instantly offering a clip with the cleanest MIDI and also a suggested key. Let's first take a quick look at how recording in real time works before jumping into MIDI Capture. We'll get started by opening the Doubler 2 app. We'll create an empty profile and select a key just so we have a starting point. Let's go with A minor, which is a commonly used scale because it has no sharps or flat notes, exactly the same as C major. With the Doubler 2 software open, Doubler appears as a MIDI device in your DAW, like a USB MIDI keyboard would, for example. All you have to do is make sure you're in the Play tab in Doubler, record ARM your software instrument in your DAW, and then start singing and recording your ideas by clicking record. The MIDI Capture plugin has a slightly different process and helps speed up your workflow by cleaning up clips automatically and also helping find the best key for your idea. Let's see where you can find the MIDI Capture plugin and how this works. After you download Doubler 2, MIDI Capture will appear in your AU or VST3 folders in your DAW. First drag it on an empty MIDI track. Once you do this, it will immediately connect to Doubler 2. The plugin will reflect changes and settings you have in a profile in the Doubler 2 app, such as key lock. You can see it matches the key we had selected before. MIDI capture is simply recording and cleaning what you sing in Doubler 2. Doubler is still what's translating your voice into MIDI information, so it's important to remember you have your mic set up and calibrated properly in Doubler 2. In this demonstration, we're using our custom Doubler USB mic. You don't need to record our MIDI capture's MIDI channel in your DAW to record, but you can record on your software instruments channel if you want to hear it back as you sing. Instead of clicking record in your DAW to record, MIDI Capture starts recording once you press spacebar or play in your DAW. Whenever your DAW is playing, the MIDI Capture plugin will be recording. If I don't record on my instrument track, it will still work. The only difference is you don't hear the instrument while you sing. Here's a quick example with a melody. We'll also activate the click to make sure we're in time. Now when we hit spacebar, MIDI capture will start recording. Once we hit spacebar again, the recording will stop. If you wanted to record more, you could do so by simply clicking spacebar once more. After recording, your clip will be added to the clip history section and the plugin will clean up the MIDI, minimizing the need to clean up unintended notes and speeding up your workflow. All you have to do is then drag your clip onto your instrument's channel. Depending on your DAW settings, you may receive a message asking if you want to import the tempo or time signature of the clip. You can select no as MIDI capture already uses the BPM set in the DAW at the start of recording. This means the clip will always fit the timing of your project. After recording a clip, you'll see that MIDI Capture will offer two suggestions in the key drop-down menu. This will be an updated key and the original key. The original is the key you have set in Doubler and the updated key is a suggestion based on the notes you sang with your voice. This means that if you sing a melody with notes outside of the scale set in Doubler, the key suggestion will offer a new key that is even closer to what you performed. Updated keys are particularly useful when starting an idea from scratch and you're unsure exactly what key you should be in. Updated keys also have the added benefit of getting the closest MIDI to what you actually sung with your voice. The default to updated key button at the bottom right will allow you to choose what key will be applied to your recording by default. If you want to default to the key set in Doubler, turn it off. If you want to change the key to be automatically updated to your vocal input, turn it on. You'll always be able to change your mind after recording by changing the key of the clip in the drop-down. Let's record a couple more takes to see what kinds of suggestions we get. Now we have an updated key suggestion of C minor for this clip. 
When playing it back, you can hear it sounds quite different compared to what I initially sung and actually much better. So I might consider going back to doubler 2 and changing my key to C minor if I wanted to develop this idea. Also note that if you delete MIDI capture from your MIDI channel or if you close your project, the clip history will reset. So make sure you drag all the clips you want to keep in your project before closing it. Now let's record some chords. If you turn chords on in the doubler 2 app, when you sing, chords will now be recorded in the clip for both your original and suggested key. You can drag and drop the clip on your instrument's channel just like we did with the melodies previously. Let's load up a pad sound and give it a go. Triggers can be recorded in MIDI capture just the same as pitch or chords. You can switch between the pitch and trigger views by clicking on the preview icons in the corner of the plugin. Let's head to Doubler and train a couple of triggers. A butt sound for a kick, a chut sound for a snare, and a cut sound for a hi-hat should be fine. We'll load up a drum kit in Ableton on another empty MIDI channel and record arm this channel. Note that if you have triggers trained, MIDI Capture will always record both pitch and triggers by default. If you want to stop either of them from creating clips, you can turn them off with the toggle switches in the play tab in Doubler 2. Then we'll head back to MIDI Capture and switch to the triggers view. We'll again hit spacebar to record. And then spacebar again to stop you'll see that the triggers clip appears with the melody and chords clip in the clip history. MIDI Capture is a great tool for quickly laying out tons of ideas, trying out variations of these ideas, and implementing them both while starting out a track or when continuing to develop a production. If you have any questions about Doubler MIDI Capture or Doubler 2, you can find resources on our Learn Doubler page on our website, or our support team are always available at help at voclia.co.uk.